Imagine you're at the NBA Finals, right at the edge of your seat as the Boston Celtics clash with the Dallas Mavericks. The tension is palpable, the crowd is roaring, and every second counts. Now imagine being pulled away from this electrifying atmosphere to shoot a promo. Well folks, that's exactly what happened to one superfan, thanks to a classic Jimmy Kimmel prank. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another hilarious endeavor where sports meets comedy. If you're a Celtics fan or just love a good prank, then this story is definitely for you. So, let's dive into how Jimmy Kimmel managed to test a die-hard Celtics fan's patience during one of the most crucial games of the year. Meet Fred Hogan from Lynn, a true Celtics enthusiast. Decked out in his finals cap and t-shirt, Fred was the perfect target for a little bit of mischief. As he enjoyed the game at the TD Garden, little did he know that he was about to become the star of a segment called Clock Blockers. The premise was simple, yet devilishly effective. Under the guise of the TD Garden Celtics hype team, a film crew approached Fred to help them shoot a promotional video right in the middle of the game. Celtics basketball, Fred exclaimed, tossing the ball with enthusiasm, totally unaware of the prank unfolding. After the first take, the crew wanted another, and then another. Meanwhile, the real game was reaching its peak and Fred was missing out on all the action. Now you might be wondering, how long can you distract a superfan from a nail-biting finals game? Well, with every retake, the prank escalated, testing Fred's patience and his undying love for the Celtics. As the clock ticked down in the fourth quarter, the tension between wanting to support his team and fulfilling his role in the promo became almost comical. Every Celtics fan can feel that internal struggle, right? Wanting to be in two places at once, especially when one of those places is potentially witnessing your team win their first championship in 16 years. So, as we gear up for Game 5 on Monday, here's hoping someone gets Fred Hogan courtside seats. After all, he deserves to watch the game undistracted after being such a good sport. Now I've got to ask all you sports fans out there, how would you react if you were in Fred's shoes? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more wild stories from the world of sports and beyond. Until next time, keep your eyes on the game and watch out for those pranksters. Thanks for watching and remember, it's all fun and games until someone misses the fourth quarter.